Walter. I got COVID this week. I love this. Is my favorite segment. Uh, Terry's been a little quiet on Picard season three, but uh, but we did get something interesting that was put out that uh, Den of Geek ended up covering, and it was new images of Picard season three. Some Ooh. of the characters and stuff, right? Crusher crushing it. Some exciting new details. And it was Den of Geek, or was it? I mean, well, Den of Geek is who initially released it, and then a bunch of other people like. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Den of Geek then. Yeah, yeah. But you get some new images, and it's funny because I look at these and I'm like, "Have I already seen this image?" Allegedly, you know, like. uh, (laughs) Allegedly. Does it does it feel new to me, or I'm not sure? Actually, Den of Geek only has one image. You might want to go to the other one. No, the other one has only one image too. I'm talking about Crusher, right? Oh, I got one of, uh, there's one of Riker and Picard. Oh, oh, you're right. What? Why is that? But where are all the other images you promised us? Um, yeah. Oh, uh, it must, you know what? It's in, it's in the actual magazine, bro. Oh, well, whatever. We're going to show them to you here. There's at least three images. Yeah, there's at least three. That's funny. Like, so I guess they, they saved it for the magazine. Like, I'm going to subscribe to Den of Geek magazine to see these three images. You know how Dude. pissed I would be if I spent money on a physical copy of something and got... <laughs> also, they least... don't... it's, it's an annual subscription, and they only print four issues a year? I mean, at least Empire Magazine offers an, an electronic version. Right, a Kindle. Get. Right. You know, so um, you should at least offer that. It's so, it's so <laughs> odd. Okay, huh? here... So. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to. I have to. I have to. Yeah, it's it's ten dollars for ten bucks. Right. It's not even a physical mag. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. We don't care. Sorry. I mean, I get it. I get it. But it's like this is, let's talk Picard season three. Who yeah. cares about it? It's, ridi- it's ridiculous, okay? though. Yeah. Don't buy those. If you if you guys want to spend almost no money on something really cool, spend spend two ninety nine and become a member of our channel. There you go. That. That's what you need to spend your money on. That's where you want to spend three bucks. I mean, if you have enough money for like food and stuff, like don't <laughs> buy food first. Buy food, yeah. pay your rent, do the normal stuff, okay, <laughs> and then become a member. Left over. Yeah. <laughs> Picard season three promo picks with seventy-one days left to season three's premiere. Seventy-one. Isn't that close? Uh, it's seventy days now. With 70 days left to the season three's premiere of Picard season three, here are some images. And if we show it up on the screen, we've got an image of Beverly. And uh, she's, she's, a, she's an attractive older woman. Yeah. I mean, she's an attractive younger woman. Yeah, she is. But <laughs> <laughs> you had to make it weird. See, I was just going to say she's handsome. Ooh, can someone paint this chick green or what? Ah, stop who, it. Who has Photoshop? You're so wrong. <laughs> you do. You probably already done it. I need. Don't dime me out like that, bro. That's my secret <laughs> Instagram account. <laughs> green hashtag green older chicks. Um, yeah. Uh, no, but no, I she, like the silver like across the top there with you know. Yeah, she looks great. Good. Yeah, silver fox. So we got a picture of her here. It's uh, it's probably from early on in the show. Allegedly, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and it's uh, some stuff's going down. What can we say here about it? I mean, it's a good look. And we get to see it's her like kind of this other our first time man, be commenting on something that we that we've allegedly already seen, and it's like so Alleged. hard navigating that alleged minefield. What What do you say about this other than like things the, are going to happen that she's involved? I mean, yeah, because normally we would be like. Oh, this is this could be, or we right. would theorize, <laughs> and now we're like, if we theorize <laughs> and people know that we've allegedly have seen it, it's gonna <sighs> make like, and if we're wrong, like imagine if you're wrong, like oh, so you're not, you weren't well, theorizing, you were just lying. Well, we're not wrong. That's what other YouTubers do. They say this yeah. is what's happening, and oh, by the way, we know what's happening here. She's about to be race swapped or sex swapped or gender swapped <laughs> by another woman right now. It's gonna happen. Right now. Hashtag green grannies. Thank you, Archmage. <laughs> but but actually, we do know what's what's kind of happening. Actually, I'm not sure. I know exactly, but I know where they're at. Ah, yeah. And I can't remember if it's been put out. Yet. No, it hasn't been put out yet, so we can't say anything. But um, right. 
This, uh, yeah, no, and listen, Crusher looks great in the series. Like, and great. she crushes it, guys. And she, she like, crushes and she it. Crushes it. <laughs> that was such a bad thing. To that do, was, right? a, dad that was a terrible dad joke. Wait, let me let me let me make it a real joke. Um, Crusher, hashtag crushes it in the new series. <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> hashtag blessed. Hashtag green grannies. I mean, you've <laughs> <laughs> you've heard us say it before. I think that uh, she's better in this show than than I believe she ever was on TNG. Yeah. At least no. <clears throat> in some yeah overall. No, I agree. I agree entirely. Um. Yeah. Anyway, she looks great. Second image is uh, Riker and Picard sitting at what appears to be 10 forward, but I don't believe it is. I feel like this was in the trailer, the first trailer. I feel like it was in the trailer, too. And this is the problem with this. But Now, these are high-quality images, though. So these are images that were sent to Dana Geek. Got it. But I think they talked about at Comic New York Comic Con that you know, these guys getting into a conversation about what was going to happen and they're, they're going to have some sort of a disagreement going forward. And I think this, you know, probably lays the foundation of that. Yeah. But they are having a drink. What kind of drink is that? Swafford? Swafford? I can't can't read it. Right. I got to Google that real quick. Swafford. But not that it matters. Really. Uh, I mean, it does. It matters to me. I mean, oh, because you're going to buy it. That's what you're going to do. See, I. this is a personal thing. On the Weekly Terry, Brian's looking at his, if you'll notice, he's got a decanter set behind him, and he's thinking of the next Star Trek li- yes. liquor. Yes, let me buy. show you guys real quick. We- Let's these go are, to these are my Brian. Star Trek alcohols, okay? <laughs> I got Klingon blood wine right there, okay? Um. And Dorian Blue, mm, okay. Um, Special Reserve Starfleet wine. Right behind it is a Chateau, a Chateau, Chateau Picard. I can't say the word Picard wine. Okay. And, and then behind that, it's it's already it's already drank. <laughs> behind that, the one that's already drank is the same reserve whiskey that the original um, uh, in the TOS uh, Scotty was drinking. Okay, very cool. So you, you've got your alcohols all together. It is, and do you have any synthahol? That's what. That's what. You know what? I've actually looked for synthahol. Like you know, obviously these are fake bottles, but I cannot find it. Can't find right. it. We'll make one. So I'm going to be getting the Swafford, though. That's for sure. All right. Let's look at the third picture. I lost it. There you go. Swafford. <laughs> Look at the look so, at the ships behind him. Yeah, so so we've got obviously you've got Picard and Riker um, aboard some sort of vessel. It appears, and you see some uh, sweet looking uh, Constitution class stuff back there. Yeah, that right there. Look at that ship. That looks yeah. beautiful. What can, what can we say about that? Can we say anything? I don't know oh, if we can. No, no, let's not say anything. We can't even conjecture because it like gives it's really kind of puts you in a weird situation. Yeah. You know, can't say what's a spoiler, what's not. Anyway, some great new images you see what they're, you know, they got their you see uh Riker's wearing like like a, a communicator badge. He's got his uniform on and you've got um Picard it's, over here in Civis. It's the new badge and then he has the admiral badge. Notice that? I don't remember him having different badges. Did they? I don't know. He has like a Admiral badge, though, like for sure, or some kind of new badge. Huh. So he but has a uniform on. Picard doesn't have a uniform. Picard's right. wearing his regular clothes. And they're, oh, I can't even say what they're there to do. Anyways, but what they're <laughs> there to do is, uh, <laughs> is extraordinarily entertaining and uh, is a romp. It's fun. It's a romp. What's, what's, good happening, time. what's happening in this scene is fun. And it's going to make you laugh for sure. Yeah. I think so. You're going to, this is there, there's some, there's some comedic stuff in this show that's going to catch you off guard and make you go, make you think, make you say things like, uh, <laughs> would have never guessed they'd do this. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most awful laugh ever. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> we got a super chat from Hiroshi. 
Hiroshi, he says, Hi guys, you remember my proposal where Captain 7 commands Enterprise F? Her first offer, officer must be Commander Malcolm Rymans, portrayed oh. by Nathan Fillion, a legendary former uh, Ferris. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Imagine if it was instead of Reynolds, it was Malcolm Raymonds. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, this is actually really great uh, super chat here, Hiroshi. And uh, we'll be talking with you after the season starts for sure. Yes. There are some interesting thoughts here. Uh, I won't say what part of this is interesting because it could be any of these parts, but allegedly we're going to have some stuff to talk about later on. Yes. Good super chat. Yes. Multiple portions of your super chat. We'll have, we'll have stuff to talk about there. Yeah. And I love that you just brought in Nathan Fillion. I mean, we just need him and more stuff, right? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Look at there's Picard and Sarah Michelle Geller on the right. <laughs> 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 Sell the sugar. Wow, Sarah's looking really bald now. <laughs> That's funny. It's like went, my eyes went right to the right like that. Right. Uh, um, so That's it. <clears throat> yeah. So all we can say is it looks like, uh, we'll say this, it looks like the imagery they've put out is is definitely from early in the show. Yeah. yeah. We can say that. Yeah. Yes. 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 All three images come from early in the show. Yes. That is correct. Yeah. Difficult. All right. And we appreciate them putting that out. We eagerly await more Picard information and news. Um, but that's what we got from that. We also got an interesting tweet from Terry. Uh, not to us, but to somebody else, which I thought was great. Uh, and this this shows, like, if you guys want to know what the difference is between Picard season three and, like, Picard seasons one and two, uh, somebody comments here that uh, will Picard season three. Oh, kind of like the season one finale with the higher synth beings. Will we get the same with season three's finale at Terry Metalis? And like the guy's got like a sweating emoji <laughs> and uh, Terry's like, nope. <laughs> right. <laughs> and because that was terrible. Like season one's ending was terrible and nothing about this season is going to be terrible so it was appropriate response by terry i like this one too i'm not normally a guy who's like i need everything to be explained but i get the <laughs> sense we'll never find out what or who created the trans warp conduit that would have killed billions of people at the end of star trek picard season two i find that disappointing he commented why never they aren't canceling star trek that's pretty accurate <laughs> And uh, someone says, fingers crossed for a show set after Ricard. And he's, you misspelled seven spinoff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that person? Yeah. Like this kind of like, was, uh, uh, <laughs> will we get the same season? Like, nope, that's the one you yeah, think. That one whole thread is great. I think Terry is being a little um, less, um, what's the word? Um, he's putting himself out there less. Right. Possibly because people because, were lo losing it on him, yeah. Yeah, so we had a really great thing going, and uh, and too many people just were, you know, not being very nice. And so now he's kind of pulled back a little bit. But um, he'll probably come back, I'm guessing. I think he will, because, you know, as we get closer to the show... Um, so many things can be messed up, you know, like spoilers can be given out. I think he's just trying to be careful that he doesn't put out too much information as the show's getting closer. And now we're eminent, like we're 70 days out, you know, and um, while we want as many people to watch it as possible so they can enjoy this with us, I think he just wants to be careful not to uh, <laughs> give away too much. <laughs> Terry is hilarious. Though, man. Look at this. Someone said, uh, Went to tweet at Terry Metalis, wondering if Short Trek's returning only to find out I've been previously blocked. Mind blown right now, because he's blocked by Terry. Mm -hmm. And someone said, I would be outraged if I knew who that was. And he responded with, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does, yeah, he does say some funny things. <laughs> Except I don't show you as blocked. So, yeah. See, like, he didn't block that guy. He doesn't show him being blocked. For some reason, he's blocked, quote-unquote. Quote, so, I don't know. I don't know. You know, 
it's a weird place. Twitter is a weird, you know, there's lots of strange things. I honestly have no idea who has blocked us because I've never bothered to look. Um, really, if you're concerned really with who has blocked you, I don't know. Maybe just don't be. Like, just keep putting it out there. Oh, I did recently block someone, but it's oh. because they kept trying to message us with, like, some crypto scam or whatever. They're like, well, that, that person should be blocked. Go That's manage terrible. my crypto wallet. I'm like, no, please leave us alone. Man, come on, manage my crypto wallet. And they kept throwing, like, message after message, and it was like, it was messing with my, my freaking notifications, and I have... Sometimes the the libitating uh, OCD, and I can't stand the stupid notification number above my my app. So finally, I was like, you know what, bro? Uh, first time ever gonna do this, but I'm blocking you. <laughs> Just blocked him. <laughs> not that I don't, not, not, not that I like, dislike the person, but like he's bothering me. He's like, you know what I mean? With these with these cr- trying to scam me out of money, I don't even have. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you, Terry's also kind of weighed in on the Avatar stuff because we're Avatar The Way of Water is coming out here pretty quickly. Uh, And I know we're like a little bit, you know, like, "Eh, is it going to be good? What's up with that? And somebody came out saying James Cameron once again shows filmmakers how it's done. I've said it a thousand times. Never doubt him. Avatar The Way of Water is how you do epic blockbustering, emotional, serial, whatever. Okay, as big as movies get. Uh, And then Terry says, I've always say this, always bet on Cameron. And I know a lot of people didn't like the first Avatar movie. I mean, some people did, um, but James Cameron is a beast. Like he's like, he's incredible. Like to see how he did uh, Titanic and some of the stuff that, I mean, we, we know who he is. So I wouldn't bet against, we talked about this before. I wouldn't bet against him uh, that these movies end up somehow end up being good. You know? Yeah. Here's the deal. Um, I know we're getting a little off topic, but let's just, we'll, we'll wrap it up with this. Um, James, uh, sorry, James Cameron has made some pretty amazing films, but he has also made bad movies. They're not all great. I think that because his good movies are so good, people often um, forget about the stuff that isn't good. And, his return to his franchises as of recently have not been good. Uh, Terminator Dark Fate, what, what he said was an amazing movie, was every, the opposite of an amazing movie. It was horrible. Um, it, it, was even, it wasn't even horrible like in the fun way. Like Terminator Genesis was horrible because it was just there's a lot of dumb stuff going on that you can like make fun of. This was just a bad movie. Uh, I don't know. I think that like Alita Battle Angel, a lot of people like that movie, and it's okay. It's not like, it's not Kino, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think that there's, I think that he's an amazing filmmaker, or he was an amazing filmmaker that is continually, that is now going back to the well, the way other amazing filmmakers have in the past, and I don't remember it ever working out. I don't remember the the people, the the are, you know, these epic, legendary status creators, I don't remember them going back to their best work ever going well. Like, can you think of a single time when one of these legendary guys went back to their one of the one of their best things and it and it made a good and made a good movie out of it? Well, the second Maverick movie did pretty darn good. Was that that wasn't really the same creator though, right? Yeah, yeah. Jerry Bruckheimer did all that. Yeah. It, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Jerry Bruckheimer did the first Top Gun? Yeah. What? I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. That's that can't it was, be correct. It was not just oh my god, he did make Top Gun. Yeah. Really? People give him such true. a hard time for for his movies. Oh, no. I mean, listen, you can you can say whatever you want about Jerry Bruckheimer, but he's made some great movies, dude. Yeah. Like, I know people oh. give him a hard time, but Oh my god, cuz no, here's the deal. This is why I'm so, so so excited right now that I learned this. Um I actually like love Jerry Jerry Jerry, Jerry Bruckheimer. <laughs> okay. People give me such a hard time, but I'm like, what are you talking about like everything I, I watch with Jerry Bruckheimer is enjoyable. Literally everything. I don't and maybe it's not like an Oscar one-winning movie, but it's it's wonderful. It's wonderfully entertaining. 
I struggle with the Transformers movies, but go ahead. Here's the deal, though. Even those movies are entertaining. But he made Top Gun. I can just go back now and be like, stop. Stop. Full stop. <laughs> Top Gun. <laughs> I don't need to talk about Beverly Hills Cop. I don't need to talk about Con Air, Armageddon, Pearl Harbor. Remember the Titans, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Bad Boys. No, no. I could just say full stop. <laughs> Top Gun. Now you shut go. up. <laughs> now you have your argument. Yeah. National Treasure? Holy crap, dude. You mean that? He also made some stinkers, too, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, he's made a lot of movies. So, the good, good point, though. Okay, so, I, he was, dude, he made The Rock? Oh, my God. Dude. Yeah, he's, he's got great movies, dude. I mean, I'm telling you, this. People giving him a hard time. Movie. Anyways, I don't, I, everyone's up on this James Cameron thing, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if it's going to be good and... I don't think I care. Like I see the trailer and I have no interest whatsoever. It's because I know. And it's because we didn't really enjoy the first one. Right. Okay. So that obviously we're not going to be excited for the second one, but I, I just want to clearly say I'm giving it 100% a full chance. Sure. Like, I'm going to watch it and, and we'll report on it and say, you know, I'm going to watch the first one. Uh, even though I don't really want to to get prepared for it. And then let's launch into it because the reality is, is there's like four more of these things coming like, like it or not. Like Cameron has enough clout where he was able to get like five (laughs) avatar movies made at the same time. Yeah. I feel like that's almost (laughs) like, that's like Willow using all of his magic at once. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to (laughs) turn in all this clout and I need you to give me all the money and contracts I need to make five more avatar movies. Yeah. The studio's it, like, all right, well, that's that's all the clout, bro. <laughs> yeah, so if he's done, like, if it's not good, like, he may never make a movie ever This again. will be his last but, crop. Yeah. yeah. No, we're going to give it a, sh- a, sh- a, sh- a chance. We're going to give it a shot. Like, we're going to watch it with a, with a critical eye, you know, hoping it's good. We're not one of those people that go in to watch a movie or a TV show ever and be like, we hope this is bad. We hope it fails. We hope... We get zero yeah. entertainment out of this. I know people do that. I don't understand that. I don't know why they would do that. I mean, I guess if it's yeah. All right. I don't know why you would watch it. You would you would go into watching something and be like, I hope it's horrible. <laughs> 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 I don't understand that whatsoever. But to be fair, I didn't. I disliked the first movie. I I sort of liked, sort of didn't like, didn't care very much about it. I thought it was derivative. I thought the graphics were good, and that's what what sold everything. Yeah. And um, what bothered me the most about that movie is the fan hoopla after the fact of acting like it's some kind of brilliant masterpiece. That's why we hate it. That's the, that is to be yeah. honest. That's why we hate it. We hate it because right. it's the number one grossing film, and it shouldn't be. We, we we hate it because people lauded it as a great movie, and it just got more credit than it really deserved. Right. It's not bad. It doesn't deserve yeah. to be up there with, you know. Avengers Endgame. Endgame. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get to be up there with Star you know, Wars. Star Wars. Or right. even Titanic, frankly speaking. Or even the, and, 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 and so on that same note, I don't. I, I First off, I hate movies where I already know the ending. I okay. hate prequels. I hate period pieces. Right? You don't I, like history. Anyway, I pretty so. much hate history movies. Hate them. I, know, I love them. So yeah. Right. <laughs> but on that note, ready? Love the Titanic. Love what? Love the movie the, the Titanic. Oh, Titanic's awesome movie. Love that movie. And I knew the end. I, I walked into that movie knowing the ending, <laughs> knowing exactly what was going to happen and how and everything. And I still loved it. And there was there were no phasers. There was no spaceships. There was yeah. no explosions. There was no, none of the stuff that I normally like being a, an, uh, a 40 year old man with OCD and a Peter Pan complex. And I still enjoyed the crap out of that movie. And I watched it probably three or four times in my life. Well, and, and I'll still say that, that Rose should have moved her big fat butt over. So Jack could get up. on. Yeah. It. Come on, Rose. There's enough yeah, space on. on the wood Rose. When that movie came out, I was uh, stationed in Italy and I actually lived above a movie theater. Right. So for like nine months, I listened to the Titanic sink three times a day. <laughs> it was so loud, like right below me. Like so, but I still absolutely love the movie. Right. But this is the weekly Terry. And so let's to pull it back really quick and get back to him. And we mentioned that because, of course, he's a fan of 
Cam- you know, James Cameron. Um, but just let's just reiterate again, Picard season three coming up in 70 days. We got some new set pictures. Um, don't really have any other new information to release on Picard season three, except stay tuned because there is stuff coming over the next several weeks that you'll want to hear more about. And of course, if anything comes out from Terry or anybody that's talking about Picard season three, we're going to bring it to you here so you can hear it and uh, just keep watching because Picard season three is awesome. You guys are going to love it. If you love the same Star Trek that we love, you're going to love it. Allegedly. (laughs) hit the comment section on the way there to let us know what you guys thought about this information also hit the subscribe button and uh, let us know you want more and that's it